Tears rush down her cheeks as she stands in front of the court, confessing a shocking fact about her adoptive father that will leave everyone speechless. She was taken to court after her adoptive father, who had been denied custody of her previously, wanted a second chance sense to care for her. The judge then asked the tiny girl a simple question, the answer to which rendered everyone in the room speechless and rendered them unable to take their tongues out of their lips for the remainder of the afternoon. The 35-year-old man couldn't care less what others thought of her. After spending their honeymoon in a tropical locale, they moved into their new home, and Jim gradually became more certain that he had made the best decision of his life. During this time, Sarah consented to Jim's proposal to become a mother after a few months emphasizing the wonderful finish of their relationship. Sarah's greatest ambition was to become a mother, and Jim wanted to assist her in achieving this goal. Despite the fact that she first appeared to be uninterested in being a parent at her own persuasion, she eventually agreed to give it a shot. When they discovered that time had gone and they were unable to conceive, they sought the help of a fertility doctor, and it was at this moment that Jim received the devastating news that would change the direction of his life and his family forever. He was suffering from cancer, which was the reason he and his wife had been unable to conceive a child throughout that dreadful time. His worry about whether he would be able to overcome his agony or whether he would get even older as a result of Sarah's seeming disregard to Sarah's health surrounded him. To be more explicit, she's done everything she can to avoid supporting him, including not accompanying him to his chemotherapy appointments. She largely limited herself to purchasing stuff and attending parties with his friends. Despite the treatment's horrible adverse effects, Jim was able to overcome his condition thanks to the doctor's efforts and his unwavering faith. Unfortunately, he'll be infertile for the rest of his life as a result of his therapy. As a result, he'll be able to devote all of his available time and resources to them in his company's development. He'll also spare him the agony of watching his body grow in order to be a whiny child into his life and ruin it. They could adopt and take care of the situation for him if these conditions had significant impact. He finally had the courage to visit one of the city's adoption centers after circling about in his thoughts for a while. And it was there that he encountered Tiny Andalusia, an endearing but dejected little girl who had only recently arrived at the institution and had not seen a single word since her arrival. Because he was aware of the horrible circumstances surrounding her evacuation to that facility for social safety, Jim couldn't help but be pained by her story. She had met her parents for the first time in her life, and she had even lived with them for a short time before her custody was taken away from both of them. However, it was uncovered after she was charged by several of her neighbors that they had mistreated the small girl who was severely malnourished, and they had forced her to beg on the streets in order to spend the money she earned on illegal substances, regardless of how many times she said no. After a few months, the poor little girl who did nothing except cry, quiver, and hide from everyone began to blend in with the rest of the group thanks to her efforts. In terms of playing, speaking, and smiling, she was just like any other young girl her age. She was even more stunning. She was adored by Jim, who treated her as if he had fathered her over time as a result of their deep paternal love. And it was for this reason that he chose to go through with the adoption procedure and bring her into his family, where she would live alongside him and his wife. This is the first time in the man's life that he had felt such joy. He dedicated himself, body and soul, to caring for her and showering her with all the love that her true parents had denied her and her brothers. As soon as he saw the small infant, Sarah, who was still acting like an adolescent, attempted to welcome her new daughter and be cordial to her at first, but she soon realized she had been misled and recognized she had been tricked with her gaze fixed on Jim's adoration for her and the belief that the little girl posed an existential threat to the goals she had set for herself, which included maintaining control of all her husband's assets. She became jealous and aggressive toward the girl complaining that Jim was no longer treating her with the respect she deserved. She eventually tried to kill the little girl because he'd introduced that other loper brat into their home. Jim screamed angrily, demanding that she delete her words and warning her that if she continued to torture his daughter in this manner, he'd have no choice but to divorce her and return her to her parents. Sarah became enraged after hearing this and attempted to stab the young lady in the stomach with a knife while she was sleeping one night. Despite her inability to scream, she was able to call for assistance, and Jim arrived just in time to save her life on the other side. You've gone insane, grabbing the knife and yanking it away from Sarah in response to her screams. Instead of settling down, the woman started to yell at him and create a noise, 
causing the neighbors to become aware of the incident and notify the authorities. Sarah accused Jim of beating her in retaliation to the arrival of the cops. The couple's custody of Linda was taken away as was to be expected to protect Linda, who couldn't stop screaming. The cops seized her and took her to jail while they conducted the investigation. As a consequence of the investigations, it was discovered that Sarah had lied and he was released while Sarah was charged with attempted murder and sentenced to prison. He reached out to the judge who had taken parental responsibility away from him in order to file an appeal against his judgment. The fact that he had been found not guilty and the woman had already been condemned to prison did not appear to sway the elderly gentleman. Bring the girl into the courtroom. Jim was adamant in his request and the case was eventually reopened in his favor. Bring the young lady in, the judge said. Linda then took a tentative step up to the front of the tribunal, her voice shaking and tears in her eyes, and spoke in Spanish in response to the judge's inquiry concerning the young girl's desire to accompany her father home. Mr. Jim is not my father, the young girl stated after hearing her speak up on what they needed to do next. The judge emphasized that everyone was in agreement, but then Anna shouted once more, this time drowning out all the mutterings, he is a superhero to me because he's the one person who has ever truly loved and protected me in a way that no one else has ever been able to, despite the fact that he is not her biological father. As a result, she holds him in high regard in such case that she would like to see him again simply because being by his side makes her feel pleased and at ease. Her message moved the audience to tears and as soon as she concluded, they rushed to embrace her. Jim was a great guy. They returned to their respective homes on the same day demonstrating to the world that genuine ties are formed not through blood, but through the love that binds our hearts together. This concludes today's narrative. We genuinely hope that you were able to find it useful.